Hello, everyone. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Give me a second, apparently. Okay. Uh, today we will review uh, Madagascar 3. Um, geez, Europe's Most Wanted. I almost forgot the title. Because uh, I've been <laughs> uploading and trying to get premieres ready for the next couple of weeks, but it, uh, I hit a roadblock, but I'm going to uh, go back and figure it out to use the extra data on my phone, because my internet is uh, really poor connection, so I use my uh, Wi-Fi hotspot on my phone, so I'm just going to continue to do it that way to upload, and I'm going to start setting more premieres for videos, so that it keeps uh, at least giving you guys some content, because I find just uploading a big bunch at a time leaves me with this gap of like two weeks and it's just no good for anybody right because uh then there's two weeks of no content and my views go down and drop and i want to be able to consistently bring content to you guys um and i'm at a place right now where i can do that so that is a good thing uh so anyhow i think that's about it for my intro i feel like i've kind of rambled on now long enough so this movie is where they are leaving Africa. It starts off with uh, the penguins leaving, basically abandoning them in Africa. And uh, how did they get out of Africa and to... Jeez, that was such a weird transition. I, for I honestly forgotten how they got from Africa to... Um, Paris. But anyhow, I guess I guess you'll have to watch the film because I've just, yeah, I've forgotten how that scene, that whole scene transitioned. Anyway, Alex has this dream that they all turn old and end up dying in Africa, and it's just, yeah, that's not obviously what he wants. The penguins, uh, they, anyway, they track down the penguins in Paris. They run into this officer, Officer Dubois, and one of the best scenes probably in this movie is when she's coming out of <laughs> this it just seems like these movies went uh further and further into the extreme and uh king julian is obviously a bigger part of this movie actually i think he might have the i think he may have the biggest role in this movie to be completely honest um no maybe the second one was kind of his uh more of a him movie than them movie. Yeah, I guess. It's kind of weird because he seems to be a bigger part of the movies as the movie series goes on. I mean, he was kind of a part of it in the first one too, but he was kind of like a secondary character. It almost seems like they made him into the primary character almost for some of these movies. Um, I would say definitely the second one, he was the primary character. <laughs> which is, seems kind of weird because, yeah, it just seemed like the other stories were kind of um, a background in the second movie, but they were kind of almost like that in this movie. But I would say that it was a little bit more balanced in this one. Anyhow, I'm getting off track again, aren't I? <clears throat> oh, where was I? Officer Dubois. Yes, so uh, the scene that I was going to talk about is when they finally do catch up with the penguins at the casino, and uh, they catch up with the penguins and the monkeys, and uh, they devise this plan to get them out of the casino anyway. Um, what was the name of the the Duke of Duke of something? Anyway, they end up finding out it's the monkeys. Uh, obviously, their plan falls through, so the penguins have to save them again. <laughs> Um, and then Officer Dubois comes, there's this, like, armored vehicle that the penguins have, and, uh, they get away, and then Officer Dubois shows up through the smoke of this explosion <laughs> from a car that the penguins ran over, uh, and you can just see, like, the horns, like, the devil horns coming out of the smoke, so it's almost like she's supposed to be, like, this Satan-like character, I guess, in this movie. Although, like I said before in these films, uh, it seems that um, there's definitely jokes for the uh, adults and the kids, because I'm sure kids, obviously, that this... It just seems so weird, because, yeah, when I look back at these movies now, like I've probably said before, um, it just seems so odd to 
how the humor has changed and how the rating would have been way different um, if this movie was just to come out today. I would say this movie would be like probably at least PG-13 for sure for all of them because uh, yeah, the rating did go up from the first one and then I believe the second one was PG and this one was PG, which I kind of find funny because yeah, it's just the times have changed so much with uh, the way people handle certain types of humor, I guess. Is that the best way of saying it? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I would say this rating would definitely be different if it came out today. But anyhow, um, so yeah, they catch up with the penguins, the armored vehicle, the explosion, the horns, um, and then there's this big, huge chase scene between all the animals and Officer Dubois. They are able to get away on the... I don't even know what you would call it by this point. The plane's just been upgraded so much it has wings now that flap and, like, a helicopter blade on it. Uh, anyhow, they end up escaping from... I believe it was... I believe it was Paris that they went to first. And uh, one of the other funny scenes is when they're coming in, um, <laughs> is they're trying to be, like, really quiet getting into uh, Paris. and Or was it Paris that they went to second? They were somewhere. I, 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 yeah. I'm trying to think now. Jeez. Um, anyhow, I guess that's kind of... I think they were in Paris first, yeah. And then they travel somewhere else. And then they find the circus. Anyhow. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. So we're... Where was I just a second ago there? Um, wow, I completely lost my train of thought. Um, so anyhow, yeah. When they're getting when they're going into Paris, because I believe that's where they were going first, um, <laughs> they're they're trying to be quiet, right? And then King Julian comes in and he's just like, Everybody dance now, and he's like on this ship type thing, just shooting off fireworks and stuff, so <laughs> <laughs> uh he just makes the films like just that much better that that character yeah it would have it wouldn't have been the same without him in it that's for sure um so anyhow yeah they escape they are able to get away on the plane obviously officer dubois is some sort of like animal hunter i guess and she's got like this whole uh I, I would call it the wall of death and she's got like all these heads of all these various animals that she's captured over the years and her pencil holder is a snake and all sorts of other different things it's just yeah she's definitely a creepy character um for sure for this movie at least for kids anyway um it's funny looking back and being like wow i went to see this in i believe i went to see all three of them in theaters when i was younger so yeah i can't remember when this one came out Actually, I might never have gone to see this one, but I definitely—I believe I definitely saw the first two in theaters, that's for sure. Because in 2005 was the first one, 2008, and was this one in 2011? I can't quite remember the year on this one, but yeah, it might have been—it might have been a little late for me to, because uh, I would have been, yeah, a teenager by that point. So I might have been, might have thought, I might have thought back then that I was too old to go see a movie like this. But geez, now I would go see it. No problem, and I'm in my 20s, so there you go. <clears throat> um, so anyhow, oh uh, yeah, obviously Officer Dubois tracks them down wherever they seem to go. I believe it was Rome that they actually went to second. Yes, that is correct, now that I'm thinking of it. Uh, they find the circus. Uh, they actually buy the circus eventually, and the other people leave. Um... So then Alex is trying to teach them all this trapeze Americano idea that he came up with so that I guess they don't think that they're just trying to escape. Anyhow, eventually the circus people find out after they've performed properly and Vitaly comes over, uh, overcomes his fears. He's one of the characters in the show, or, or the, the show, the movie. And, uh... <clears throat> um... Yeah, his fear was basically he used to jump through the hoops and he just made the hoops smaller and smaller and smaller until it was almost like it seemed uh, physically impossible to fit through the hoops. So he uh, douses himself in vegetable oil to squeeze through 
and then he tells him to light the hoop on fire, and the vegetable oil lights on fire, and he loses all his fur, and now his fur is all brittle and stuff. So he has like these, I I guess you could call it almost like PTSD's flashbacks. <laughs> so there, there's a lot of stuff in this movie that like kids aren't going to understand, but the adults are going to be like, wow, um, it's a little dark, but okay. <clears throat> um, uh, anyhow, uh, yeah, so they travel along, um, with the circus. Eventually, Officer Dubois catches up with them, and the circus realizes that they aren't who they say they are. They used to live in a zoo, that all of their acts were just kind of made up, um, and they're just trying to get back home to New York to go back into the zoo. But when they get there, Officer Dubois catches up with them. Um, and King Julian meets this bear that's part of the circus. The only character in the movie that doesn't actually talk is this bear. And what did he name it? Oh, I wish I could remember what he named it. But anyhow, he gives up being king at the end of the movie because he wants to be with the... Uh, the bear, <laughs> which is such an odd, odd pairing. Anyway, um, <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, so anyway, the circus saves them because I guess they felt that they became better due to the fact that Alex and his friends. Um, so obviously, uh, Gloria Melman and Marty are with him too. So I guess they believe the other circus people believe that. Um, it became better with them in it, um, and they obviously performed better because they were w well, uh, I would say better organized, I guess, because when they put on their first performance, it flopped miserably just because they all feared what could happen and just didn't just go for it. Uh, so at the end of the movie, Dubois ends up in Alex's old uh, cage. I guess it's not really a cage, because it was pretty well set up for a zoo, yeah. It's in New York. The zoo's in New York. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that in any of these movies, but anyhow. Um, movie reviews. <clears throat> but what, what else can I say? Also, yeah, obviously they end up uh, leaving with the circus, and then there was never another Madagascar movie after this. kind of would have been interesting to see where the story had went after this movie, but I would have liked to have seen that, but who knows, maybe maybe we'll get one one day, but I don't think there's any uh, talks of another Madagascar movie in the works right now, so, but uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say, I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, that's all I have to say, I've covered everything that I can, uh, or at least that I can remember, because I was just busy uploading after I watched the movie, so if I missed anything, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, but, <laughs> um, please like, share, and subscribe. Oh, yes. Uh, and comment down below your thoughts on this film if you've seen it. If not, please go watch it. Actually, go watch all three of them, because they're still really fantastic films. Um, and there's always something that you can probably find, uh, in each film that will make you laugh or, or feel something. Who knows? Sometimes animated films have an underlying message in certain parts of them, so... But yes, my rating, uh, 10 out of 10. I believe I've given all three of these films a 10 out of 10. Um, I know I give a lot of 10s, but when I really enjoy the movie, I can't uh, give it a lower rating. Sometimes I do, just because there's something there, just like, I don't know how to explain it, like a feeling, I guess, that I just, it just didn't deserve quite a 10, but this one does. Uh, so anyhow, I will see you guys in the next one, and bye-bye for now.